India's oldest and leading solar media. Today we have Mr. Rahul with us in a special conversation. Hello Mr. Rahul, could you please tell us a little about your journey in Adani Solar? Yeah, I've been with Adani Solar for some time now. Uh, I'm uh, heading the sales and marketing function at Adani Solar and I've been with Adani Solar for the last six months now. Prior to this, I've worked in various other different industries. Solar is, uh, I'm finding solar a very interesting field, uh, very challenging, a lot of, uh, you know, new things to learn every day. Technology is uh, changing, pricing, uh, customs duties, you know, all of the uh, aspects of a business that can, uh, including the environment and the regulation, that can impact the business. All of them I've been able to witness in the last six months. So a very exciting journey in the last six months and I'm sure uh, the future is uh, going to remain as exciting. Could you enlighten our audience about the current capacity of Adani Solar? Sure. How much is in pipeline right now and what is the target for the next year? So Adani Solar started its manufacturing journey of uh, solar modules in 2016-17. Uh, uh, in uh, we set up a 1.5 gigawatt integrated solar module manufacturing facility where we manufacture cells and modules also in India. And uh, this is the operational capacity till, till yesterday uh, or till day before yesterday. Yesterday we have uh, in, uh, launched our new line. Uh, this will be 2 gigawatts line of the latest technology modules, Monopur, uh, with uh, capacities of uh, 535 to 545. And these lines are capable of even manufacturing modules of 600, 650 plus uh, watt peak modules. So that's the new addition, 2 gigawatts yesterday. And so now we are about 3.5 gigawatts of uh, capacity for modules in India. Uh, we are also looking at uh, integrating this also and uh, set up a cell manufacturing line by June, July this year, coming year. So like you informed us about your manufacturing capacity, would you uh, share what are the challenges that are being currently faced by the Indian manufacturers? Uh, the challenge is uh, more from the market standpoint than manufacturing by itself. Uh, even with the integrated cell and module line, we continue to be dependent on, on imports for some of the raw materials. And as you are aware, commodities and various raw materials including freight costs have significantly risen in the last 6 months, maybe last 3 months. And that has an impact on the end customer. Uh, a lot of projects... Uh, have challenges around viability, uh, financial viability and therefore are put on hold and that causes a lot of turmoil in the industry because manufacturers continue to manufacture but offtake slows down and that creates a very challenging environment. So what solutions do you suggest uh, for all the manufacturing issues that are being faced in the industry? See these are, uh, these are temporary in nature, uh, it's not a structural issue, uh, I think uh, Commodity prices go through their cycles, business cycles, and we are right now at a peak. We will soon see, see the see the prices stabilizing and reducing, uh, and that's when uh, you know the problems that I talked of, temporary problems, they will get resolved on their own. Uh, structurally, what will make a lot of sense for the Indian solar ecosystem is to bring in a lot of domestic manufacturing capacity, not only of just of modules, but of cells, of even fully integrated, starting from polysilicon right up to modules. When we have that kind of uh, ecosystem created within the country, then I guess we should be, uh, and the solar industry per se, will have taken care of lots of the challenges that, and the vagaries of, you know, changing prices and uh, uh, changing freight rates, etc. Now that we are talking about changing prices of uh, raw materials are also fluctuating. So could you tell us about the pricing roadmap of Adani Solar? So we are aligned to the market and the realities in the market. Obviously, uh, one cannot operate in a, uh, in a, in a silo. Uh, we, are in, we are impacted by the market situation and we have tried to uh, align ourselves the best way possible so that we remain relevant for the customers also at the same time are doing enough justice to our own manufacturing setup. So our, our market, I mean our pricing policy will continue to remain aligned to market realities and we will uh, 
continue to monitor the prices at the raw material stage and accordingly adjust our finished product prices. Could you tell us about the new products that Adani Solar has recently launched? Also, please tell us about what is the technology plan of the company. So currently, uh, like I said, yesterday we uh, launched our new line. Mm -hmm. This line is uh, monopurk uh, based technology line. Uh, we will be able to do monopurk, monofacial and monopurk bifacial products. They are based on uh, uh, two types of cells or wafers, which is called the M12, uh, M10 and the G12 wafers. The M10 uh, cells will be able to generate capacities of 535 to 545 watt peak per, uh, uh, per cell and per module and uh, for the with the G12 wafer which also our lines are capable of handling we should be able to do 600 plus uh, 6, 650 plus watt peak uh, per module so these are the latest technologies efficiencies are exceeding 21 percent and uh, we are offering bifacial also mm -hmm. so which gives additional gain uh, to the to the user uh, because of the uh, nature of the product which is uh, generating power from both sides of the module. So this is what we try to do, bring the latest technology and set up a 2 gigawatt line of uh, this with this technology. As you know that the VCD will be applied from April 2022 as per the announcement. So what are your views on the custom duty? So VCD uh, is clearly coming from 1st April as per the announcements like you rightly said. And uh, the, the idea is, I think the government's idea is to uh, ensure that uh, the local manufacturing uh, gets a level playing field with, uh, you know, some of the imports. And uh, in that sense, it is the right direction that we are taking. Uh, we will have to wait and see how the market stabilizes or adapts to the uh, new regime uh, post-April. Uh, there are some concerns from the developer lobby. Uh, because the market prices are already too high and then imposition of BCD will uh, impact their project viabilities. But hopefully market, the market prices are uh, you know, kind of softening now and by the time BCD comes from 1st April we will have a softer environment and then that BCD impact will be uh, possible to absorb by the entire industry and that should give a very good fill up to the uh, local manufacturing uh, also in, in the solar world. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, sir.